and somebody who really wants to get us all in the in the kitchen and enjoying the preparation of food and specifically vegetarian food. Specifically plant food, which plant we love, food. which we love. And we're going to make something that I think crosses the border from somebody who's like, mm, I'm not sure I want vegetarian food to, oh my gosh, what's that? I want some, even if that person loves meat. Absolutely. So that, is the, right. that is the key. This is the dish. Okay, this the, is the, the dish. dish. Are you ready? Dish. Okay. So Don't we have the vegetarian. And Until don't feel this. intimidated by whole grains because we have couscous that's dry. Delicious. And your job, Jody, is if you can handle it, pour the water in. Oh, because I don't this know. is a soaking grain. It's not a grain that needs Molly, to Molly, I've been on vacation time. for two weeks. This is a big deal. Oh, oh, okay, hot water the into the couscous. It's How much perfect. is in here? Uh, I don't remember. Cups, okay, I, I don't stir know. together? Yes, it's in the recipe. It's in your, um, it's in yeah. your cookbook. And, I, and a lot of people use like twice the water for grains. I use pretty much one to one plus, almost one to one, just to keep them. Okay, just leave it. I'm the same with it. my so, quinoa because I like it a yes, little al dente. Yes, I don't, don't like it mush. to go. You don't want mush. No. So this is what we soaked earlier, so it's it's ready. And this is what it should look like. Nice. Nice it and fluffy. Smells delicious. And we let us take your fork and okay. fluff, and Fluff. I'm chopping and you're fluffing. Okay. So all it did was sit in the water. That's it. All it did was sit in the water. And now you're fluffing it in into what we're going to make, what we're going to call is a pilaf. Okay. And so it's such, it's like a dump and stir. Anyone can do this. It's All so right, much here fun. It so we're is. both going to do it. Here's parsley. I've been chopping extra parsley that's feathery fine. And it goes. Perfect. So you, you combine. Pine nuts are here. Pistachios. Oh. So two kinds of nuts. Delicious. You know what? Nuts are so good for you. And people think of them as snack food or fattening food, but they're actually health food. Right. So think of your nuts as health food, and you're, here they come. And it's going to keep Beautiful you full. Beautiful colors. Right? Very when much you, so. When you Very get much. those nuts in there, you're giving yourself some substance and yes. sustenance. Yes, okay. and you feel like you've eaten something. Like, now, dates, chopped dates. They are the, like the, the super part. food, right? Yeah, they're, and they're also so good. And so I'm kind of separating them in. They feel meaty, too, when they're they cooked, do. right? They do. Some to that bite the into, exactly. Oh, okay, Molly, okay. I'm reading your mail here. I'm loving this. And because the dates are sweet, we want to balance them out with a lemon juice. I'm reaching in front of you. All right. Lemon, a touch of salt. Don't you love it when things are all measured out in advance? I do. So much this fun. is easy cooking. I know. <laughs> and no cook cooking, really, until we get to. And now you're going to drizzle. Okay. It's looking very nice. You did a very good job. Uh, olive oil. How much? Uh, well, glugs is what they say now. The thing is, I like it. Glug it up. How pretty this is. Do you want to you I stir? Mean, I'm grabbing it out of your Go. hand because I love this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, stuff it or spoon it into pre roasted delicata squash and make this beautiful entree. See the squash, which is so wonderful. It's one of those squashes where you can actually eat the whole thing. And these, we might just yeah. say, oh, look, it's a gourd. But the gourds are squash. I, Easy to cook. Slice it in half. What gorgeous. is it, a little olive oil in an oven yeah, for well, olive oil, 20 minutes? These days also, olive oil, you, you can do this part, is a finisher. So the olive oil gives it a beautiful, shiny top which also compels people, makes it beautiful. Yes, okay, I want to taste this, and we want to tell you this is the heart of the plate, Molly Katzen's new cookbook. What a great Christmas gift for the person who loves to be veggie-centric. Even if you're making you the move over to plant food and, and edging out, you were, we were just talking before the break, or uh, before in, during the break, that it used to be pasta with a little bit of vegetable, now it's a bunch of vegetable with a little I bit call, of pasta. I call it the food slip. Love and it. it's the food you love with vegetables added in. Okay, can I taste okay. this? Yes, you could. Do you want to taste the finished squash? Or I you do want to taste the finished squash. Are you kidding me? So this is the plate. We're gonna we're gonna have gonna uh, a raffle here, here at the oh, station great. for this because <laughs> the can you entire take a big stuff. Bite? I can take a big bite. Russell Kate, you <laughs> whoops. whoops. Oh, here we go. <laughs> can you take I don't a big bite? A little flip out. Here we go. <laughs> Russell Kate, food flip for you. I'll bring you some food, pal.